What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're bringing out the big guns as we're going to be checking out the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Voyager class Optimus Prime. This is one of our first proper Voyager versions of the character and I am so excited to take a look at this one. So as we very quickly check out the box art, we have Optimus telling you guys to stand down. Here at the top, we get the Transformers Rise of the Beasts logo and as we come around to the back, we get some pretty cool product shots of him in both robot and truck mode, looking a little different to how we left him in the Bumblebee movie and then finally we get another close-up image of this terrific new design for Optimus for the upcoming movie. Now we've checked out a few of the movie line deluxes, I think for the most part they've all been fantastic so let's see if the Voyager versions can also stack up. And here we have the Rise of the Beast Voyager Optimus Prime and I think this figure looks amazing. The detail they've packed into him is really cool but he is quite a small package, you know this guy is a lot shorter than I was expecting which we'll get into in just a second but as we check out the design of the robot mode you know it's so nicely detailed especially that face sculpt I mean such an improvement to the version that we saw for the Bumblebee movie studio series release and despite this guy upon first glance looking to be quite unpainted here in the torso there is a lot of paint on him you know the entire head is painted the chest is painted the shoulders and the forearms are painted and all of the blue that you're seeing here for the shins and the feet is painted so yeah they definitely didn't skimp out from that perspective and if you check out the look of him in the trailer all of this gray does unfortunately look to be pretty accurate you know it's a shame the design team didn't think you know to spruce up a few of these details we have in the chest but anyway you know such a nicely designed looking figure even as we take a close up here of the arms very similar to the Bumblebee movie design you know it's awesome that they didn't go ahead and completely redesign him because it's such a fantastic look for the character and even here for the side of the arms I mean look at all of that detail it would have been awesome had they found a way to have taken these panels and wrapped them to the underside because sadly they do kind of stick out but here for the backpack I think they've managed it brilliantly there's nothing which really does stick out you know the wheels compress very similar to the Earthrise Optimus and there's even a tiny bit of detail, not as cool looking as the Bumblebee Movie Studio Series version, but still very nicely done. Here are what the legs look like, you know, we even get some nice detail for the inside, which just looks fantastic. And the foot design is so awesome. Cannot wait to see Optimus Prime back for Rise of the Beasts. Now, in terms of his articulation, unfortunately, there's no ball joint in the head. You know, it would have been so cool to have gotten this guy looking up like we see in the B-movie where the Seekers are kind of flying over him. But anyway, it's just a little rotation which can go left to right. The shoulders can rotate the full 360. There are hinge joints going out to the sides. There is also a bicep rotation. And despite this being only on a single hinge joint, it does bend way past 90. So that is awesome. And I mean check out the detail we have for the bicep there are surprisingly some proper ball jointed wrists so that's really cool you know you can have them rotating forwards and backwards and can kind of hinge them back and forth due to transformation and the torso has three points so there's a cut here at the top one at the waist and then there's also kind of a fake ab crunch which I'll show in just a second but this piece mainly rotates due to transformation but unfortunately the main rotation for the bot mode is a little restricted due to the design so if you use both of them it works and it is so cool and then talking of that fake ab crunch you basically Basically take the upper half of the figure and slightly detach it and look at that you can get prime crunching forwards and backwards which I thought was so cool the hips unfortunately don't kick quite to 90 but again you know you use that fake ab crunch and you can kind of fake it they can kick out to the sides the skirt pieces are independent so they can flare out to the side and we can get him kicking Megatron out of the Quintesson ship like we saw in Transformers the last night there's also a very sturdy thigh rotation single jointed 90 degree bend there at the knee and then finally due to transformation the foot can pivot forwards and backwards and can also rock side to side so overall a very solid Voyager definitely lives up to the hype set by some of those movie line deluxe figures now in terms of accessories we've seen this guy in the trailer use this massive arm cannon and unfortunately this Voyager doesn't come with that instead we see the return of his iconic ion blaster which seems to have been scrapped in the movie which kind of sucks because come on it's Optimus's most signature iconic weapon but anyway as we check out the details it's basically a shrunken down version of what we saw from the studio series version so very small but still pretty decently detailed you know you can smack it into the hand to have this guy taking out the Terracons let them come stand down or maybe you know if he just wants to chillax you can come around here to the back open these wheels up and peg it into this huge port and kind of make it look like it's overslung which also isn't a bad look now towards the final battle in the latest trailer we also see the return of some pretty iconic weapons again those being 
being the Michael Bay Energon Blade, which this figure is compatible with. So if you picked up any of the 2007 or Revenge of the Fallen versions of Optimus, you can nick the blades off them and smack them here onto this Optimus, which is just so cool. And of course, you know, you can have him slicing and dicing some of those Terracons like Prime did in the forest battle. Now as we jump into a few comparisons, we're kicking things off with the most important one, that being between the last time we saw Optimus in the Bumblebee movie and the new movie line Rise of the Beast version. And as you guys can see, you know, there's a significant decrease in terms of scale, but you have to bear a few things in mind. This figure is a part of the movie line, so it's not intended to be in scale like we're seeing here from the Studio Series version. And I can only speak for here in the UK, but these movie line figures, the Voyagers in particular, retail for about £30, whereas an average Studio Series Voyager retails for around £30 to 38 so there is a difference in terms of the price point which is why I think this Optimus here is slightly cheaper but do you know despite the difference in scale I still think they've done a pretty good job in kind of capturing that Rise of the Beast Prime design and packing it into a slightly smaller figure because there are some things I like more on this guy when in comparison here to the old Studio Series version but you know considering the upcoming Rise of the Beast Buzzworthy Bumblebee is rumoured to be a very heavy retail of this if you want a slightly more substantial version of Prime then maybe just hold out until that figure gets revealed. Sticking with a few more Prime comparisons, we have how he started off in live action. So this is the 2007 slash Revenge of the Fallen design. And it's so nuts to think that this was the original version of a live action movie Prime. And then this is how he looks in the latest movie, you know. Yeah, Prime's definitely gone through quite a bit of evolution in regards to how he looks on screen. But you know what? Both of them very cool looking Primes. Here he is next to the Earthrise leader slash Voyager Optimus. And throwing this one in kind of defense for the movie line Prime, here we have the Studio Series Voyager. Ironhide, which you can see is smaller than the movie line Optimus. So, you know, if you picked this guy up and you didn't have an issue with his scale, then I think you can kind of get past it here for the Rise of the Beast Prime. And firing through a few additional comparisons, we have him alongside the movie line Deluxe Air Razor and Cheetor, Wheeljack and Nightbird, Studio Series Deluxe Bumblebee and Air Razor, Voyager Cheetor and Battle Trap, Core Class RC and Freezer. And finally, the new big bad of Rise of the Beasts, the leader class, Scourge. And Optimus definitely has never faced anything like this because this guy looks to be an absolute unit. Now, getting stuck into the transformation, much like some of the past movie line deluxes, this guy definitely has quite an original transformation and surprisingly is a massive departure to the Bumblebee Movie Studio Series version. So, to kickstart things off with, you're going to want to come here to the shins, take these pieces and just hinge them inwards. And you guys know how this is all going to rock, so you're basically just going to want to take that foot and hinge it all the way up. Do the same here for this side. So hinge this section here all the way up. We can now take the thighs and the shins and tap those together. You'll then want to take the trailer hitch and that little slot is going to peg into that tab. Just basically solidifies the rear of the truck, which is cool. And you're going to want to make sure that these skirt pieces are sitting flush with the thighs because if they're not, it's going to be such a pain in the butt later on during transformation. So come around to the back, take this back panel hinge this upwards and when you move that it does dip this little red piece in which then allows you to take the head and sink it all the way in and then this piece will just come up and over. We can take the chest windows and snap those there into place. Then you're going to kind of want a T-pose prime much like Ultra Magnus from the Netflix series so hinge these out and utilize that upper torso joint which I showcased previously to rotate this here all the way around so the front is now facing the back. Once you've done that we can then bring the shoulders down take the smokestacks they are pinned together which i think is awesome that's one thing you have to bear in mind this guy doesn't feel cheap there's not too many kind of just friction nubs he does stay together pretty nicely so hinge these out and around and that tab's going to peg into that slot so do the same here for this side this engage that tab bring this around and snap that into place we can then take the shoulders arch those backwards on both sides and then here for the wrists, they do curl upwards. You'll then want to rotate here at the bicep and utilize the shoulder and elbow joint to curl this here so that this tab can shoot into the shoulder pad. So snap that in there, come to this side and do the same. So fold up the wrist, rotate here at the bicep and then utilize the shoulder and elbow joint just to stack those up. Now what you're going to do is utilize that fake ab crunch which I showcased previously and these big massive tabs are going to smack themselves into the front of the thighs. So just attach this, bring this here back and line that up until they do snap in very securely. Then much like Earthrise Optimus, we can take these wheels, flare them out to the sides and take the front of the truck and basically just straighten all of this out. Those little tabs are going to lock into these slots. So 
snap that in there and do the same here for this side you'll then want to take these arm guards detach those bring those around and they're going to smack into those tabs so do the same here for this side and finally for some finishing touches take the gas cans just detach those and click them upwards and do the same here for this side and bang there we have the new rise of the beast optimus prime in his kind of upgraded form when in comparison to how we left him in the bumblebee movie because this time he does have the ball bar which looks so sick in terms of what we've seen on set but it's a shame they didn't incorporate it into the robot mode design i mean it would have been so cool to have seen the ball bar kind of smack bang in center in the torso to make him look like he had a kind of armored up robot mode but anyways we check out the truck you know very fun transformation and I think the truck for the most part looks kind of cool it would have been nice had the ball bar been picked out in some silver but decent details you know here for the side i think this comes together pretty nicely unlike the masterpiece version they have gotten rid completely of the cat ears but instead we kind of get these pieces which stick out to the sides i imagine the studio series version will do a little better job in hiding that but to be fair you know they don't look too bad and yeah, decent detail across the board. You know, this whole rear of the truck doesn't look terrible and it is compatible with Earthrise Prime's trailer, which I'll showcase in just a second. So, yeah, pretty solid looking truck mode. Now, in terms of weapon storage, you take the blaster and smack it into the trailer, as you guys would expect. And all six wheels are pinned on, meaning he has no problemo in rolling out into battle. So that's sick. You know, I think going forward, all mainline voyages, deluxes or leaders should have pinned on wheels because they are just so much better than mushroom pegs, in my opinion. But anyway, getting stuck into a few comparisons. Here we have him alongside that Bumblebee movie studio series Optimus and there is a massive difference, even bigger than the one we saw in the robot mode because this truck looks tiny, you know, if you were to look at these at first glance without any context, you'd probably think this was a deluxe in comparison to a Voyager, but you know, much like the 86 Ironhide, I think it kind of works out in regards to paint and engineering and this is what they look like from the front. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what Hasbro do from a retooling perspective to get this guy looking more like his Rise of the Beast counterpart part but you guys let me know down in the comment section below out of the two which is the one you prefer here he is next to that studio series 2007 bayverse version of optimus prime so you know what i think these trucks kind of look as if though they would be in scale with each other so it's definitely not as bad as the difference between the b-movie version here's the earthrise optimus prime so you know not too far off what you'd expect from this guy and talking off here we have his trailer now whilst it is compatible unfortunately the wheels don't quite touch the ground i mean the back ones will but it is at a slight angle meaning that these ones kind of don't quite clear so that's a little bit of a shame but you know you can kind of fudge it in terms of a display and it doesn't look terrible sticking with a few more rise of the beast comparisons we have optimus compared next to the big bad scourge and this thing is quite literally a monster and we've seen from some of the set photos that the reason optimus now has this ball bar is to quite literally smash scourge through a building so i cannot wait to see that scene play out in the movie but yeah in terms of this comparison i do think the studio series version is going to par a little better with scourge here he is next to the voyager class battle trap so quite similarly sized in terms of their scale studio series deluxe bumblebee and yeah this scale doesn't work at all the camaro should nowhere near be as big as the semi truck but you know again i guess you can kind of fudge it for now and then rounding things off, here we have him next to the movie line Deluxe Class Wheeljack. Now jumping into reverse transformation, I think if I had to summarize the conversion in one word, it would be just fun. And I think that's the biggest draw that some of these movie line figures have for them is that they're just fun to transform. And to be fair, their conversions are quite unique compared to the Studio Series releases. So as we get stuck into it, first of all, you're going to want to take these gas cans and just snap them there into place. We can now take the wheels detach those utilize the double hinge joint and basically just bring this here up and over we can then take these wheels snap those into place take these panels detach those and angle them to the back and do the exact same here for this side then you're going to want to take the whole cab of the truck and separate it here from the truck bed so just disengage those joints and lock this piece here inwards we can then take the trailer hitch and if you haven't done so already flip it over and then just split here at the legs You'll now want to take the feet and angle these sections down until the shins do fully fold out. So 
do the same here for this side you'll know that they're fully transformed when those tiny little notches prevent it from going any further so thought that was a pretty cool touch you'll now want to take the arms and disengage those bring these pieces down rotate here at the bicep and then uncurl the wrists do the same here for this side so bring this down uncurl the wrists take the shoulders bring these sections here forwards and then disengage the smokestacks and collapse them in upon themselves and that tab will peg into the back so do the same here for this side snap that into place again t-pose prime much like siege ultra magnus and rotate here at this kind of mid cut we can then bring the arms back down you'll now want to take the chest windows gently pull these here forwards and then we'll take this whole piece bring this back take this section and this two is also on a double hinge joint so just push the head out snap that there into place and bang there is the rise of the beast optimus back in his robot mode and wrapping up on this review for the rise of the beasts movie line voyager optimus prime personally i think it's a great figure i mean yeah it's quite small but in the uk like i said before he is a little cheaper compared to your average studio series voyager so i guess it kind of makes sense in terms of detail you know i think this guy looks excellent very accurate to some of the shots that we've seen from the latest trailer the articulation is really cool the quality of this guy feels fantastic you know a lot better than i was expecting and not to mention he has a very original unique transformation you know it's not just the carbon copy reuse of the studio series version it is very different to any of the other live action movie prime so that's pretty awesome and the truck mode 2 doesn't look terrible at all the weapon whilst maybe inaccurate to the film you know is classic optimus prime that g1 ion blaster which we saw him use in the bumblebee movie so all in all i think it's a solid figure but for those of you that perhaps want something a little more substantial in terms of scale and a figure which is going to size better with the rest of your studio series character Characters, then maybe wait for that buzzworthy Bumblebee version as it will undoubtedly match them in terms of accuracy and scale but still very fun figure to pick up I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comment section below what do you guys think of this Optimus Prime is it one you're going to be adding to the collection and until my next video I'll see you then transform and roll out